Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a Daryl Dixon wig. Here's my inspiration. First you're gonna need is a mannequin head of some sort. I recommend one with no hair because the hot glue seeps through. You will need a brush and a flat iron. The material I'm using on the mannequin's head is like a stretchy, almost um, like a spandex material. It's really light, it's really breathable. The hair I'm using came in really long track. My goal for this look is to have no tracks showing. I'm starting at the crown of the head and I'm moving downwards towards the forehead. Now since Norman Reedus, AKA Daryl Dixon, has a specific part at the side of his head, I try to line up the tracks so they leave a part. In between the tracks, layering down, I'm leaving about uh, an inch, inch and a half between each. With seeing a lot of pictures of Norman Reedus, I noticed that his hair seems to grow really forward. Um, so I'm trying to give this hair the same exact look and have it coming forward in the same Now for the crown of the head, I'm just going to layer from bottom to top and there's only going to be one seam visible and that will be right at the crown of the head. So this is what my finished look looks like on a mannequin and my part right there which I end up filling in later. Look at my little girl, isn't she so cute? <laughs> Just kidding. Now for the fun part, taking it off the mannequin and putting it on my son for a nice haircut. After putting all that hair on there, I realized the wig is too heavy, so I'm going in and I'm layering the front. As you see, I'm pulling out with my two fingers and cutting upwards. I repeat this method often around the whole entire head. I'm also going in with the tip of the scissors, also known as texturizing, just to cut up any thick, noticeable lines that look too, too perfect. Since Norman Reedus has a very layered haircut, I wanted to make it very texturized and very layered. I threw it back on a mannequin and I went in and added a little bit more detail and texturized it a little bit more.
the part in the middle in the off the side is a little exaggerated so I went in and cut little tiny track pieces to cover it in and fill it in as you can see here final look of the haircut stay tuned for how I made the vest and how I did Tyler's makeup for the Walker stock in New Jersey thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe